Hello, we're going to be testing what Quartz can do in IS2 today. I have a few other runs planned with her as well on normal maps, but they're going to take a while to actually happen because we're relying on her skill to stun. So until I get the RNG, let's show her off here. Uh, this isn't a really good start for 4 stars, since gar guards in general are kind of weak, but we want to show off Quartz, so we're picking E2 guards. And then going straight for Quartz. What I mean when I say they're weak is that they're not good starters. Because you really prefer something that can damage from a range slot on a lot of the early stages. Hmm. So Suru is probably better, but I want to press less buttons. So I'm going to pick Gavio. And we need something to tank for Quartz. So... Deep Cower becomes the only good option. Now, we basically don't have any anti-air. Deep Cower doesn't count, but that doesn't matter until the third floor. So, let's see what we get. I think we're fine on all of the early stages. Even the emergencies shouldn't be a problem. Because we can bait shots with the tentacles. There's a kind of weird thing here where we want Gavio to tank instead of Quartz, because she actually has this. Don't have to worry about ducks or bears, because we don't have a chance in hell in killing them. I think we're safe for the first floor, but I'm not sure if we can do the emergencies on the second floor, unless we get some decent picks. Sometimes I tend to get three medics in a row, and then the run is just dead. Which is why I usually avoid teams that have a medic in them. For IS2. I'm not sure there is much point in fighting the bear. Uh, it's a pain in the ass on hard mode even when playing normally. And when we don't get the crown. And Quartz isn't going to do anything too interesting against it anyway. So we'll go for the phantom fight. Well, we might just die on the way. Because this is a really awkward starting team. We'll see in a bit. Mm. Yeah, I need tankier tentacles. So we can keep Quartz alive. Forced emergency. We're taking the hope. We can't deal with the bear and its bullshit. Hmm. This stage might... I think it's fine. Because we upgraded deep cover, so the tentacles should be able to survive the archers. Or maybe we'll just die, I'm not sure. How much defense do the tentacles have? I guess it depends on that. Okay, we definitely want to point her down. Because the spider crab will die in a few hits. They have high defense but low health. Point deep cover down as well. 368 defense. And it's a crown buff, so their own attack isn't all that high. Yeah, I think we should be fine against the archers. Probably want to tentacle here too. The sooner we get to Gavio, and maybe get a second medic, the better. Oh, that's not good. There is going to be a lot of archers later. Okay, we can save the skill for the second wave of archers, which is much bigger, so there shouldn't be any problem. What 
位置についてこの眼帯に気を取られて焦っちゃダメだよ44 enemies, so no to confer. Eva, let's get there. Mission accomplished. Shouri, you tennis, the mina no sugata. I guess he took the car was worth overpicking Pudenko. And here we get a second medic. It's not worth picking a second medic because the model is a pretty big buff. So the stat difference makes it better to just pick a E2. We get attack speed, that's perfect. Buff a caster or pick the SP generation. I'm not sure I benefit from Quartz having SP generation that much. It's not a skill that you use on cooldown. Also, I don't want to waste money because we have the attack speed thing. Okay, we want to take the book. I don't think we need it. Because you don't spam her skill. That book is normally always worth because I could pick Cutter later and get value out of it. But I want to focus on Quartz. So, I'll do what benefits her throughout the turn. Rather than what's the best for me otherwise. This is an easy stage, I think. Maybe I'm wrong. We should be able to just place quartz here and then tentacles here to hold. We're not going to try and protect that chest, that suicidal. A hundred percent. Yeah, should be fine. I got. These dudes do way too much damage on emergency, so we don't want quartz anywhere near them. So they do about 600 damage. So they would kill Quartz in 12 hits. We'll save the skill for Crown Slayer, we can replace the tentacle. Nice dodge. Plus two squad limit. More supporters is pretty bad. We can pick Budenko because we need something that can hit air. Since we're approaching the third floor, give up money for hope. No, thank you. Minus 15% health and minus 15% movement speed for all enemies. That's pretty good in general. Okay, so it's better to take the bottom path because then we have a choice between stages. Whereas on the top path, we're forced to take only one stage. And we want to avoid um, most floor 3 stages, to be honest, because we only have four operators on floor 3. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Give me another operator. Amiya can be instantly e because she's actually a guard. Even if you have her in the caster form. 
the buff for instantly to steal treats her like a guard. I'm going to pick Kitten though. I need AoE. It might bite me in the ass because they don't have that much anti -air. So we have the Nightmare Hell stage where we die because we don't have TP or 5 lanes. We'll go with 5 lanes. We have Ethan. And then the buffs are identical. So we just pick whichever stage is easier. <laughs> This should be an easy clear, so we're just skipping it. A hundred percent XP from the next fight. Bad options. I don't really want an upgraded Putenko, but there's nothing better. Bottom fight is um, chapter 9 enemies. This stage is simpler, so we'll go with it. But this one lets me pick between the two. Also, I think this one might be more fun with parts. Let's do this one. It just has a bunch of shield, wolves, and gargoyles. It's not a difficult stage. Okay, here's what I want to try. Just make one lane and then see if we can murder everything with parts. I really want to know if she can kill a golem. If she can, we can kill them with Pudenko, because it removes the resistance. Though I'm pretty sure she can just kill a gargoyle while it's in the stone form. Yes, the defense is a bit too high for that. So we need to cheat with Fudenko. I think she could do it with skill 1. If I get this stage again, I'll try it with skill 1 instead. See if it's better versus gargoyles. Hmm, the Fender or Vanguard? I have Deep Cover, so Vanguard is pretty low value. Defender it is, and options would be Medic or Dulnar. I'm only relying on Gavio for healing at the moment, so I want a separate source of healing. Podenko can heal too, but it's not that reliable. And on top of that, you lose her great damage. Free win with deep cover and W. I guess we'll go murder W because why not? I want to play squads here, but then I'm not sure if I can deal with the other crap. Screw it, I'll do it anyway. Okay, so we don't want to aggro this dude yet, I guess. No.
ここは一方の眼帯に気を取られているようだ逆に見透かされる Just barely won Whoa So she would lose if it was、um, at the emergency mode I don't know if the hard mode crown actually buffs double or not. I know it says it buffs bosses, but I'm not sure if it only refers to floor three stuff or everything that's considered a boss in normal gameplay. For a, like double, you only takes one life here, so is she even considered the boss? I will have to check it sometime. Not much trouble so far. No sniper, nice. We don't need AOE damage, so we'll skip on pine cone. So, Ambrio or May are the good picks, and I want to pick Totter because, well, I want to. But am I forced to actually pick something useful here? I don't think so. Let's go with the new operator then. Hey, it's the invisible stage. So, she's your crew. I guess we're about to find out if Totter can kill the drones, because if not, I'll just die. Oh well. I reckon he doesn't get his bonus damage at the moment because they're not really invisible. Yeah, the damage should be fine. This dude has a million health. Not sure if we can kill him, but we'll try. So many stuns. Whoa. Oh, yeah, we need something to cover Toto. From the drone swarm. That's nice. Let's force him to fly again. I should have had. Oh, that was nice. I should have had quartz further back, so Totter can actually shoot. But I don't think it's a problem. Yeah, I guess it was the right choice not to. Take the extra XP, her skill charges fast enough. Oh, 
が出てるあがいたところで力よ攻撃のタイミングが重要だアーツの治療範囲に入れ I wonder if Totoro will be good at killing the dancers. I haven't tried him there. If we get some spinach, his skill one will definitely be great. But I kind of want to use the skill two more. A second sniper is probably a better pick. But I want to E2 him. Range damage or starting SP. Range damage, of course. That's not even a choice. We need more healing for quartz after all. Okay. I wanna try my hand at an emergency stage, since we are not struggling much. Six ingots for an item. Um, so that lowers our attack speeds a bit, but... It's a random item, so it might be something that's actually useful. About... Yeah, let's go for it. Deployment limit, that's fine. Not really worth the six ingots, but... Okay, so this stage has a pretty good chance of killing me. But I think I'll try it any anyway. So the only problem is that I can't really deal with the Rat King, and all the spiders will kill me. Oh, and I don't have good bait for the starting enemies. Well, I could place Deep Cover here and then a Tentacle, before they target Deep Cover. It's really bad, I should not do this stage, because my team is bad for it, but I want to. Okay, let's try to kill ourselves. What happens here is that operators are invisible for a bit after they're placed, while their deploy animation placed, place, but summons don't have the same effect, so we got targeted before Deep Cover's invisibility ended. So we just go straight to Totter, I guess. Not sure how I can make use of quartz here. I do want to set up Gavio here and then Gummy here. That much is. Oops. That much is obvious. Um, Pudenko first. I don't think he can kill Gavio. Let's check. Yeah, I should not try that again with the red spiders. And retreat Ethan. These blocks here. And retreat Deep Cover now. Okay, so how do we not die the wave that's coming? Bait the bomb. Hmm, that one's better than I thought. I think the plane leaks, it's really fast. Yep. It's a bear. I think I can kill the bear, yeah. Because it shouldn't be able to one-shot quartz. Oh, 
治療してほしいやつクムがみんなを守る言う通りにしますね霧が出てる今日はついてないなはいはい私が何とかしますここでいいんだ It's probably not a good idea to activate what's the skill. Okay, now it is because the tower is back. So we can knock the bear back. I think I could have done it, no leak. I deployed the tentacle to bait the bomb a bit too late. So even then, Gumi probably dies and then... Yeah, I, I might have leaked anyway. Whatever. 10% um, physical and art dodge. Enemies have less attack. Nothing too interesting. Oh, we finally got a guard ticket. Cutter is always the best choice. Is there anything else that they want to pick? I guess new operators are kind of a team for this run, so let's go with that. Uh, Nightmare Hell stage from Hell. What's the other option? A uh, much easier stage, that's also annoying. Somebody did ask me to run the Traveler from afar stage, so we're doing that one. So, she's your career. In retrospect, I should have picked the Vanguard. Oh well. We'll make do with what we have. It's not the emergency stage, so it's whatever, I guess. This is the square I want for Totter. Why did I place... Because the caster AFK is there. That spacing made, made no sense. Because okay. we want the dude to shoot there. That's why it makes no sense. Hmm, can the dog, dog reach the box? I guess not. I feel like I'm going to leak some drones. The moment these two guys will hit the totter and facing him down. He won't make it in time anyway. Screw it. <laughs> We're just sticking through. One lead won't attack us. Because of the regenerating lives. I'm not sure if that was the best place for Totor. I think I fee was too afraid of the fireball casters. They kind of AFK for a long time, and you can place operators outside of their range. Oh, we finally got an E2 Eaton. It would have probably been better to face him down so he can heal that Wraith. 
In this run it didn't matter, but if I was leaking other stuff it could have. So it's worth thinking about. Okay, stupid horn that makes CC last longer. That costs way too much for what it does. This makes vanguards have 15 SP. Support skills load faster. Specialist casters. This is not worth taking because we lose attack speed, but I want to, because I want to see Quartz have 10,000 health. That was probably the worst item to take there, but I don't care. Poison Crapper. Ooh, that's gonna be funny. しっかり捕まって、ドクター。僕の能力で向こうに飛んだ方が早いから。少しだけ遅れた。なが問題はない。みんなに手を出すな。ここは一旦武器を収めた方がいいか。しかし私の剣は。治療の準備だ。Should probably avoid this dude getting hit by one of the red ones. Normal ones are fine. Oh yeah, I forgot. Ethan completely screws with them. Because they lose attack speed when they're in his range. They lose movement speed, so their damage is less, is what they meant. Because the model gives him the permanent slow aura. So he just makes them harmless. Awesome. Wait. How is anything supposed to even take this treasure? They go like this. What? Is this thing just invincible here? Because nothing paths through there? Whoa. Ooh. That barely did anything. <laughs> what the hell? I have no idea what happened there. He just didn't do any damage. Oh, Is this some kind of bug? They basically did less damage while her skill was active. Oh, this one didn't do any damage now either. Not sure what that's about, honestly. Yeah, this one did his damage normally. They couldn't have been slowed by Pudenku, and they don't lose that much damage out of Eaton. I'm not sure what happened there. I feel like Quartz took less damage than she was supposed to. I'll mess around with it later, see if I can replicate that. Eat doing gummy, why not? Most likely outcome is that we're just going to leak Phantom and die. Because I have neglected to pick up uh, DPS. And we don't have that much attack speed. This is the bubble stage. This one is both easier and has a free item after it. So we're taking this one. Oh nice, he can shoot almost all of them. He only misses this one. Cool. I should really start bringing chestnut. 
but I was afraid of not having enough healing. That's why I chose Gavio. ありました。位置に着いたぞ。この眼帯に気を取られているようでは、逆に見つかされるぞ。治療してほしい奴は前に出ろ。しっかりしろ。どこに行けばいいですか？さあ、各自隠れて。水銃用の焚き火もしっか
probably had that buff. Uh, the theater buff that gives you plus 15% attack. That's probably what it is. We should have this first because... Otherwise we're going to... Leak case in point. This poor dude really needs a mark of penetration. When he's hitting multiple targets, his damage goes away. I really like the deploying it in here. He can just kill the wave early and get rid of half the stage. Because he starts doing a lot of damage once the skill is active. And since they're not invisible, he can just kill everything else too, because he's eaten with, with the mod. Hmm. Maybe I should stop let them crash into quarks, not that they can kill her. Oh well. Do I want to get pudding since we have the chain caster thing? Well, nothing is really all that useful at T1 compared to the other stuff we have. And we can't really afford to deploy much stuff. I guess Indigo is the best because we can handle everything else, so we just need phantom killing tools. Okay, so I need to remember that Totter won't shoot the balloons because they have lower weight than the dancers, so we're going to need the cat boy to do that. Anything else? Um, just bait the phantom it and into it and start him forever. <laughs> Oops. 10 out of 10 tentacle. Placed by an extremely skilled DM player. Looking nice. And you can reach that tile for it. That's perfect. Attack his damage is fine. I can retreat you for now. Okay. Yeah, easy win from here. Oh, I may have screwed that up. Damn, that was all damage. 
the dodge carries though. Okay, we don't really need to care anymore. Just keep studying forever. We we'll have Utagi take off most of his health when he starts crossing over. He can just hate something today. He's not letting him do anything. Like the poor bastard has an AF AFK square here. Oh, he skipped it. Because he got tracked too hard. に立ち戦う時は無理しないで。しっかりしろ。ドクターはきっと僕らを勝利に時間通りだ。うん。僕がいるから大丈夫だよ、ドクター。その泣き声も健康感謝。ありました。未知についたぞ、ドクター。声が